How's it going, Laser Bruce? Is up, Bobby Six Kill, and welcome back to House Stories Die. Um, we are still dealing with Nozomi here, gathering around for the man who's very charismatic. Um, we're still trying to make her love us so that uh, she can defeat the Demon King or some shit, so the fruit can take effect. I don't know. At this stage, we're fucked, I think. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I have very little. I have a very interesting story to tell you. Oh great, let's hear some nonsense. There once was a great wizard in the name of Shadath. Shadath was an inventor, an inventor of magic. He dedicated his life to researching the ways of magic and inventing, with new and great ways to use it. Some are still in use today. For example, the foul mouth and uncontrollable fart spells. <laughs> Thank you, Shadath, for your great contribution. But the legend says he secretly worked on a lifetime project. It's called the Time Distinguishing Trap, or its alternative name, Salary Stealing Scam. Just as its name suggests, this magic is used to trap your opponent in the past. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes. Well, today's your lucky day because I hold the map that shows the location of the essence of the time twisting trap. I will now uphold an auction to determine who will get the map to the great treasure. <laughs> what a lousy scam. Maybe you should make it less obvious? The starting price is 100 gold. Begin. 200 gold. 500 gold. 1400 gold. The price for this worthless piece of paper is quite high now. Now only true idiots will bid. 5100 gold. What a fool. And the price for the most gullible person go price for the most gullible person goes to thirty thousand. Nozomi, what are you doing? Don't worry, Horace, I secured us the map. That you did. Well, that amount of gold. They went all my savings. I want to strangle Nozomi with my own hands. And three, two, one, sold. Congratulations to the lucky winner. Thank you, thank you. Now, can I please have the map? Sure, but first you got to pay up. Pay? Hey, boy, no one mentioned a thing about paying. It was an auction just now. Yes, and I won it. I said the highest number. Wait a moment, Nozomi. Do you know what an auction is? It's a contest of who can say the highest number. And... And what? That's it. I knew it. In an auction, the winner has to pay the number he said. Oopsie, my bad. So that's why other people said gold after they stated a, num stated a number. <sighs> Forget it. You have this worthless piece of paper. Thank you very much. Hey, Aris, look. I got it without paying anything. Good job. I think. That makes me wonder, is Nozomi a master haggler or just a gigantic idiot? And speaking of idiot idiotic things to do, it just hit me that we were supposed to be in the middle of training right now. So are you coming to find the lost treasure? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I just said... It's just that I said something I didn't plan to say. So you don't want me to go with you? That's fine, because either way, we're going back... No, that's not what I meant. I mean, in the start, I thought that... And then... Never mind that. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. No, you're coming with me whether you like it or not. We go back to the castle. I tried to grab Nozomi's hand, but she leapt back. What's with you? This is serious. The whole kingdom's at stake. I think what we could do with time travel. We could even kill the Demon King while he was a baby. Assuming this map isn't a rag some five-year-old drew on, she really doesn't understand the severity of the situation. But her behavior a few seconds ago means I made some progress trying to reach her heart. If I refuse here, all the momentum will be lost. Although I still need to strike a deal with her, so I won't be seen as someone who can be easily bent. Okay, but on the condition that you'll train during the journey, you can't afford to lose too much time. Also, you know this man straight up admitted it was a scam, right? Sorry? <sighs> right after you, Captain. You might be thinking the right way, Powder Monkey. Say what you want about Nozomi, there isn't a single boring moment with her. Now we'd be finding booty before you just scurvy dogs, do you hear me? I said sail. That means let's go, yeah? Yep. Now, will you read this map and tell us where to go? Don't you know how to read a map? Nothing like that, it's just that the old salt's eyes have grown weary of reading maps all day and night. So I'm giving this important mission to a Johnny Depp like you. You should be grateful. Do you want me to teach you how to read a map? Yes, thanks. <laughs> okay. Right. So now after this old sea dog refreshed his dusty memory, it's time to set sail. To the briny deep. And by that I mean the forest. God, she's so stupid. <laughs> now the real voyage begins. What do you mean? There are other skellywags longing for our booty. I don't think so. Isn't this map a one of a kind? Nope. I saw the landlubber gives the map to a few other buccaneers. Avast ye! A free booter with a, with the guard down is nothing more than a shark than shark bait. Alas, no quarter. I swear she just invents stuff on her own. And so we started walking in accordance to the map. It's going to be quite a long trip. Nozomi? No talking, we need to watch out for other ships. 
Really? I remember real pirates could actually talk and be on guard at the same time. R really? Yo, I was just messing with you. Of course I could talk to you. Cool. So I've been to ask you, why do you want that treasure? Let's assume that the treasure is real and we find it. What exactly would you do with it? Go back in time, of course. Yeah, but if we do that, we might step on a bug or something and humanity will cease to exist. I don't know about that. It probably won't happen. How do you know that? I think that when people are sent to the past, they are actually visiting another timeline. The timeline where they both exist in the past. I don't actually think about it that way. Like in Dragon Ball Z. That's because you're dumb. Oh really? With a big smile on my face, I started furiously tickling Nozomi. <laughs> stop that! <laughs> Your laughter magic. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> Please release. Duh. What was that? An enemy ship. I thought this map was just a scam. Are there really others who are looking for this time scam? Nonsense. It's one of Nozomi's delusions again. It's just a wild animal. All crew in fighting mode. A labradage? Nozomi, wait. It's just a wild animal. Don't storm in without... A plan. Oh, Nozomi, why do you always do this shit? <laughs> I mean, we come to expect it by now, right? Oh crap, they're demons. <laughs> I made it. Ah! These are demons, holy shit! This is the first time I've seen one face to face, they're really scary. With Blade in their hands, their intentions were clear. Shit, 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 if only Gudolf was here. Why? Nozomi's way stronger than Gudolf. I felt my fight or flight system kicking in. Nozomi, run, they have weapons! Come, you scurvy monkey! Hope you like Davy Jones Locker! Yahar! Is she brain damaged? Perhaps you should just leave her alone. Nozomi, this isn't a game, we have to run away! Fuck, I can't leave her here and run on my own. This is the hero of fortune we're talking about. Wait, isn't that their prince? Shit! Uh, uh, you're actually right. Hey, stop ignoring me. Today's our lucky day. Sayonara, prince. I said don't ignore me. The demon dropped dead on the ground as soon as the lightning hit his chest. No! Shabor, don't die! Damn you, lunatic mage. Now is it possible that Nozomi would just take care of both of them by herself? Finally, thanks for your attention. Nozomi, I'll thank you a thousand times later. Wait, is he holding something behind his back? A dagger? Is he gonna throw- Nozomi! Attack on Nozomi to the ground just in time. It means pain burst out from my shoulder. A dagger completely covered in red. I've never seen so much blood in my life. Yet it didn't even hurt a bit. Maybe because of the adrenaline. I don't know why, but as soon as I felt Nozomi was in danger, my fear was completely cast away. Maybe that's how warriors feel during a battle. They put away their fears and focus on what they want to protect. You bastard. Just the thought of that dagger reaching Nozomi's heart. Maybe that's what moved me. The horror of witnessing Nozomi bleeding. Deep down in my subconscious, I knew that I would do anything to prevent that from happening. I don't know why though. Is it because I would hate to see someone as cheerful and easygoing as Nozomi in pain? To protect my image of her as an everlasting source of positivity? Or maybe because I'm the kind of guy with a strong desire to protect his friends? No, it's neither of those. I would have done the same for every citizen of the kingdom. My responsibility as a prince is telling my body what to do. It's not Nozomi that I need to protect, it's every citizen of the kingdom. What happened? The little princey is turning red. I pulled out the dagger from my shoulder. Waterfalls of blood came out. Not that it mattered, I didn't have the luxury of being in pain right now. Screw you. I sprinted towards him. Wait! With all my remaining strength, I thrust the dagger into his eye. Oh my god, his eye? A satisfying scream of pain. And the demon is no more. I can't believe I managed to slay a demon. That was the first time I actually wielded a real weapon in a fight. I don't want to go through that again. Fighting is definitely not for me, but... Suddenly, like rain on a sunny day, it hits all the pain that I held back. Ugh. Horace, you're covered in blood. I can see that for myself. Ouch. Why'd you do it? I wasn't in any danger. You just injured yourself. A dagger in the head isn't considered dangerous for you? Us mortals are jealous. Besides, I can't really watch from the side when people attack someone I care for. Huh? Not just people I care for, every citizen of the kingdom. I'm the prince. My life belongs to the people of Valteria. Even if it looks impossible to win, it's my responsibility to fight. Even if I'm totally worthless in combat, even just to boost the morale, there has to be some kind of uncontrollable instinct. A very dangerous one. My bloody shoulder seems to agree. Sometimes I wish this responsibility instinct would, would be good. No, don't even think about it. This trait? No, this gift is something that people would kill to get. Promise me you'll never ever think about it. You mustn't. You mustn't. That is the most wonderful thing in the world. Okay. 
The zombie, did something happen? Nah. And even if it did, a maiden's heart must stay mysterious for men. For traditional reasons, of course. Maiden? You? No way. If you didn't look like a girl, I would have thought you were someone's little brother. Nozomi gave me a light chop on the head. Let me give you a little clue about this mysterious maiden's heart. Maidens hate when men don't think of them as women, and they especially hate being sister zoned. Not to mention brother zoned, which I didn't think was possible until now. Ouch. My bloody shoulder doesn't like to be ignored. Right, kind of forgot about your big ouchie. Leave it to me, I can heal it in no time. And on the way, I'll teach you something really cool. I'll be glad. Okie donkey, put your hands on this tree. Okay. Ah, oh, move my left arm makes me want to pass out. Very good. Now just stay still. I'll use this tree to heal you. Nozomi hugs me from behind. Her body's so warm it feels like being exposed to a fire during a harsh winter. Though it might be just because of blood loss. <laughs> oh old gods who withstood the test of time, please grant this human your blessing. The leaves and the sun fall as one, but you are standing still, your power unmatched. The strength will carry on by your children, the brave who've sworn to protect you. A bloody red rose shall not bloom, instead, grant your bleh, guidance to the pure narcissist. <laughs> Was that bad part of the chant? My wound is completely gone. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome, am I? You were awesome too. The way you heroically slew a demon, even though you're so weak, you always act like a little girl. That last part wasn't necessary. <laughs> you're indeed a fine addition to my crew, and I thank you for saving my ass. It's nice to hear that. Uh, Nozomi? Yeah? You're still hugging. Blimey! At last but not least, there's still one more I need to thank. The tree. What happened to the tree? It's completely dead. Nozomi, what happened to the tree? Well, its life force was sucked out. In order to heal me? Yes. Remember when I said I'm going to teach you something cool? Everything has a life force. That means everything is alive. Well, almost everything. I don't think things like wind, rocks, and water do. For example, our life energy is located in our blood. All living things contain magical energy, but they do not know how to use it. Although there are some who can use it for them. So if a tree is a life force, just like animals, why are you a vegetarian, but you don't hesitate to knock and suck the life force out of trees? Euthanasia. It's quite sad, you know, to be a tree. Would you really like to live hundreds of years staying still, not doing anything? Your freedom taken from you? Boredom becomes a way of living? That's horrible. Worse than dying. And so I'm not sorry when I take the life of a tree. Actually, I'm quite happy. I feel like a saint. Nozomi the Saint. Not sure that name really fits you. Huh? What's that? Nozomi, you should look at this. What is it? The demon. He held some kind of paper. I take it from the demon's corpse and observe it. It's a bit hard to read because of all the blood. A perfect copy of our map. Well, that's pretty obvious. I told you how the sea rats are after our booty. The demons are after the time magic as well. Does that mean it's real? If so, why would the demons want it so badly? After all, the Demon King is the most powerful being, he doesn't need time magic. At least not so urgently. But why demons? I thought the map was a scam. I told you to believe it. Could it be the demons need the time magic for something? This is getting serious. I think we should report to the ca- No, no, no. We're already pretty deep in the forest. By the time we get to the castle, the demons will already have a huge lead on us. Yes, but at the castle we have horses, and it's getting pretty dangerous. No, the demons are probably prepared for that. What they're not prepared for is a full crew of powerful pirates eager for booty. We're just two, though. Now set sail, ahoy! We're in the seven seas once again. That means let's go. Yeah, I got used to it already. <laughs> are we there yet? About 15 minutes or so. My legs can't hold much longer. I feel like we just walked a marathon. Nozomi, let's take a break, please. No breaks allowed, matey. Keep pushing that oar. Please, I'm really, really tired. Do you want to walk the plank, powder monkey? Fine. If talking won't help, actions will. Time to use my secret weapon. My horrible acting skills. Nozomi, my vision blurs. Ah, can't go on. I think I'm about to fall. I'm going to fall on purpose. I aim for the pile of leaves on the ground so the impact won't hurt. Ah. Uh... That's weird, I didn't hit the ground. I continue to fall? Ah! Ouch. Oh, that hurts. I'm moving my limbs to check if I broke something. Everything's still intact. Horace, are you okay? I'm fine. Who the hell dug a gigantic hole and covered it with leaves? Probably some a-hole hunters. Get it? A-hole? I rolled my eyes. Thanks for the comedic commentary. Any useful things you want to add? <laughs> if you want, I can lift you from there. Magic? Yep. Good, thank you very much. But you have to give me something in return. Huh? Fine, fine. 
If you get me out of here, I'll give you... Chocolate parfait. An invisible force lifted me up violently. Now it's just only, just only calm down, you'll smash me in the wall. <laughs> I gotta develop new trauma. Bring me the chocolate parfait, yar. I don't have it right here, you'll have to wait until we get home. Aw. So that means now we have to move extra fast to get to the chocolate parfait as soon as possible. Wait, no, I didn't mean that. Ahoy, set sails, we're going on an adventure. My poor legs. I never thought walking could be that tiring. With every step, the thought that I'll collapse in the next one got stronger. And Nozomi just keeps walking faster and faster. Or maybe it's me who's getting slower. We arrived. Finally. I think. Hey Horace, this, pla this looks like the place. I also sense some strong magic. Why are you panting? Are you tired? Huh. <sighs> then why didn't you tell me? I would have declared a break. Horace, that's totally your fault. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about it at this moment. Lamb can't say to the shepherd, Ooh, ooh Mr. Shepherd, I can't walk anymore. <laughs> After they've already finished the trip. I never knew I was blessed with such great luck. I could hear a beastly voice from behind me, making my heart beat twice as fast. My body froze in its place. Back when I agreed to continue onwards with Nozomi after being attacked by those pair of demons, I knew that sort of thing could happen again. But even that thought couldn't prepare me to another life or death situation. Good thing Nozomi's here. As much as she's joking around, when it starts to get real, she becomes serious. Well, not completely serious, but you can still count on her. Finding both the time-twisting trap and the prince at the same time, the Supreme Commander will reward me greatly. Prepare to die, prince. Don't ignore me, you skellybag. I'll feed you to the fish. Huh? I can't breathe. The demon put his hands on his neck in panic. No, can't die like this. The demon's struggle became even more wild. His face was full of terror. Suddenly his voice was cut down. He crushed to the ground lifeless. Success! The new suffoca suffocating spell I learned worked. Note to self, never get Nozomi angry. I noticed I became much more energetic. Probably from the adrenaline. Wow, Horace. You look much better now. Guess the best medicine is good old demon slam. Now that the little shithead is out of the way, it's time to get to the grand prize. I can feel the essence of the magic coming from under that building. It's a pretty narrow hole nearby, but we can go through it with a little effort. I hate holes. Here I go. As though we jump through the hole nonchalantly. Alright, my turn. Getting inside an ancient whatever it is without any knowledge of what's inside. Great. I mean, I already killed a demon. So what are death traps compared to that? <laughs> and so, a bit excited and a bit scared, I slipped through the hole. Yeah. That was quite the fall. Six meters? No, eight. I'm glad I landed on my feet. It's completely dark. Nozomi, are you there? Yeah, I'm fine. Need a lot of fire or something? No, you can do. There may be some flammable gases inside here. Is there some kind of magic which produces light without fire? Unfortunately, no. I have some idea of what's going on here. I explored this place a bit with my hands and I'm pretty sure it's a corridor. So each of us goes a different direction. But how do we know we're not both going the same direction? Yeah. Something touched my back. Alright, now I know which direction you're facing. Just go forward. I'll go the other way. Okay, how do we get out? I set an electrical barrier between us so we can meet here afterwards. From there we can figure out a solution. Okay, good luck. Good luck to you too. Why does Nozomi start sounding like she's not an idiot? I started walking forward, afraid of the uncertainty. It's quite scary walking down a pitch black corridor with danger lurking in an unknown location. Gah. What was that? Should I head back or something? Yeah, but what am I supposed to tell Nozomi that I ran like a little girl because of a bad noise? I continued pressing forwards, but this time with slower and more careful steps. I know how much time I've been walking. My sense of time is long gone. Is there even an end? Maybe I'll walk here forever. Maybe the Demon King has already invaded Elps. Ow! Ugh. Oh, a wall. Is it the end? I felt up the walls in order to make sure it really is the end. If so, then the magic is supposed to be here. I wonder how magic looks like. I touched something. It feels like a stone tablet. I felt the tablet with my hands. There's something attached to the stone tablet. It feels like a button. Press it? I'm getting kind of excited. Also scared. It could be a trap. Nah, it's more logical to put a trap people would unintentionally activate. Like a pressure pad. Alright, I'm going to press it. Nothing happened. Something's opening up. I touched the stone tablet again. It seems a giant hole opened in it. I put my hand inside the hole. There's a rolled up piece of paper inside. I take it outside the hole. 
I should probably check the insides of the paper once I get outside, but my curiosity is stronger than my logic. I start to open the seal on the paper. I still won't be able to read it since there's no light in here, but I still want to try and open it. I wasn't feeling that kind of curiosity since the moment I was told I needed to find the Hero of Fortune. Okay, I opened it. Wait, I just got a weird feel- Gah! What's happening? Is this some kind of trap? Shit, I shouldn't have opened that damn scroll. How do I get out? Huh? I'm in my room? So this piece of paper was some kind of teleporter? Speaking of which, it seems like a tele- It got teleported with me. I should probably go back to Nozomi, she must be worried about me. But just as I try to exit through the door, Oh, my prince, you're already awake. Yes, of course I'm awake. I remember last night you were doing homework until late. I thought you were still asleep. What? I didn't, and Gudolf knows that. You witnessed me and Nozomi together. Anyway, I carry a message from your dad. It seems like a very high priority mission. I decided not to take the risk and give you the letter the moment I received it. Oh no, please don't be that, please don't be that. He even said that with this message I carry the fate of Alteria on my shoulders. Wait a second, fate of Alteria? Oh shit, it's probably that. Yes, my prince. I took the letter from his hands and read it. To Horace. Horace, my son, you've always reached the age of 18. Therefore, I thought it was time to take an important role in protecting the kingdom. In the eastern market of the cap- Fuck, it's the exact same letter. Oh shit, oh shit, this paper was the time-twisting trap. I activated it somehow despite not having any magical powers. I need to find some way back. Somebody can activate this piece of paper. Nozomi? Thanks, good off. I'll complete this mission successfully. I sprinted out of the palace, hoping I'd manage to find Nozomi where I first met her. Okay. If my memory is correct, Nozomi should be around here. Yaho, hey everyone! Classic Nozomi. Did someone see my ring? It kind of fell off on the ground and I can't find it anywhere. It's a golden ring with a large sapphire in it. Can't save the kingdom if I don't find it. Found it. Hello, are you Nozomi Tiara? Ah, a stalker. Puma Sensei warned me about these kinds of people. You mean Mr. Rabbit? How do you know who Puma Sensei is? It's a long story. I have a request for you. Not until you explain everything to me. You see, I'm on a very important mission. You don't want to disturb me for nothing. You're the hero of fortune, right? I've been discovered. That only makes you even more suspicious. Tell me who you are. I'm your escort. Wow, you knew so much about me. The palace must have seen some kind of super cool intelligence system. Please let me join. Please, please, please. Okay, I'll let you join, but on one condition. I'm listening. We're only recruiting people who can use magic, so if you know how to use it, you can join us. But I don't think you can, so I'm sorry. Fortunately for you, I can cast magic. Actually, I'm a genius mage. Really? I want you to prove it. Okay, so I'll cast a flame and... No, I'm afraid that's not going to cut it. Any beginner can cast a fire spell. But this... This only professionals can cast. I handed her over the paper. What? What happened? Change of plans. I really don't want to join that secret service of you anyway. Instead... I dodged your flames just in time. Did the zombie just attack me? You really don't die that easily, eh? Let me help you with that. If I was one centimeter to the left, Nozomi, why are you attacking me? Why would Nozomi do that? That goes against everything I know about Nozomi. Shut up, don't call me Nozomi like you know me or anything, bastard. Where the hell did you get that from? Are you with the demons? Nozomi or not, she's still trying to kill me. I can't say shock forever. I have to get that paper from her hands, it's the only chance to go back. Nozomi, this paper is fake. Huh? Using the single moment of distraction, I sprinted towards her and tackled it. Hey, yeah! I quickly took the paper from her hands. Come on, work, work. Please, I may not possess any magic powers, but please help me. I want to get back to the prison. Huh? Yes, yes, I'm saved. No, no, come back, no! We gotta hide this paper from prison Nozomi or she'll try and kill us. This cold air. I'm back in this building cave thing. That was so crazy, I'm not messing with time ever again. I'm so lucky I landed just in time. If I met Nozomi, if I was sent something like 100,000 years back, my survival chances would have been pretty slim. And also there is that thing. Why didn't Nozomi attack me? Well obviously in order to steal the time magic. Why'd she want it so badly she tried to commit murder? And more importantly, what will happen if I meet Nozomi again here? Will she try and kill me like before? Perhaps I should just tear it apart and pretend I didn't find it. Can we keep it but not give it to her? She'll definitely try and kill us, won't she? I'm gonna keep it. The Nozomi I met before is not the Z Nozomi I know now. We're best friends. We saved each other in times of danger. There's no way she'll try and kill me. She's totally gonna try and kill me. Besides, 
It'd just be some alternative universe where Nozomi is a cold, blood blooded killer instead of a cute girl. Also, this type of magic can be used to defeat the Demon King. No matter how strong she is, no one can defeat time. Right, I'm going back. Started walking again the endless corridor. This time my steps were a little bit lighter. I don't know the reason. Maybe because I thought about Nozomi's smile. When she discovers I found the time magic. Oh my god, you're going to show it to her. Maybe it's because we managed to get a weapon against the Demon King. Or maybe even because I know there aren't any death traps in this corridor. And while I was contemplating my happiness, an unexpected shock awaited me. Literally. It's Nozomi's electrical barrier. Ah. Oh, it's just you, Horace. You shocked me a little bit. I'm going to ignore that. Anyway, I didn't find the magic on my end. I felt a slight disappointment in her voice. Did you find anything? I'll tell you once we go outside. I know I've decided to give her the spell, but it's still necessary to take some safety measures. Okay, how do we get outside? Could you use your magic to do something? Good idea. I'll blow this place down and then we can get out. I hope she was sarcastic. Is there some kind of spell you can use to lift me? Like the one you used when I got stuck in the hole? I could try, but there's a good chance you'll hit your head on the ceiling. We can't go through the entrance unless we find some way to climb 8 meters. Now, if Nozomi doesn't have a magic solution, it's up to me to find one. No, I'm not going to use it again. There must be another way. That thing almost killed me. There's a chance I'll go back 100,000 years to the past. If I could only control this magic somehow. Think, Horace, think. What did you think during the time you activated the magic? Luckily, my short term memory is pretty good. I'll try replaying what I think at the time. I should probably check the insides of the paper once I got outside. My curiosity is stronger than my logic. I still won't be able to read it because there's no light, but I still want to try opening it. Huh. I wasn't feeling that kind of curiosity since the moment I was told. Wait, that's it. I was thinking about that moment. It's so simple, I feel pretty stupid. But I still need to get some magical energy to activate the spell. Pretty sure I had had some magical energy stored before I used it, but now... Nozomi, I got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea too. I was thinking about a network that could connect computational machines throughout the world, but I don't think that would work. What? No, I mean a way to get out of here. Could you try to direct some magical energy towards me? You mean enhanced magic spell? Yeah, that could that give me some magical powers? For like three seconds. That's all I need. Could you try doing it right now? Yep. Okay, here I go. Congratulations on your three sec magical What's happening? See you earlier, Nozomi, and thank you. All aboard, set sail, we're going on an adventure, huh? Trying to bring your mana to the plunder? Manga to manga. What? To the plunder? Of course not. What is that paper you're holding? It's the magic we're trying to get. I just went back from the future to bring it here. For reals, let me see it. Gave you the paper. I see. Yes, that Dumbledore dude was indeed a genius. I think it was Shadar. From what I understand, the spell can be used, can only send people to the past and then return to the present. To determine the moment you want to go back, you'll need to think about it. There also some pretty strict restrictions to this magic. You can't go from the past to the past, you have to go back to the present and then to the past again. So right now, it isn't usable. It'll only be usable once you use it to go back to the present. Also, going further into the past requires more magical energy. But there are also some cool things. Your physical conditions and memories will stay the same while you travel. But you can't take someone who was originally in the past back with you. Ooh, I want a pet mammoth. And I want a pet Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, he cares about that. We got the booty. Let's go on a drink, like real pirates do after a great adventure. Though I suppose I didn't experience that adventure. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? Because half of the city would be destroyed if you were drunk. Still, I'm glad you didn't try to kill me. It seems trusting you was the right choice. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Never. Horace, answer my question. Why am I not allowed to drink alcohol like the pirates do? Because we're having chocolate parfait party. Just like pirates. Yes, you're indeed correct. Pirates always have chocolate parfait parties. <laughs> it's still something that disturbs me. We were supposed to do something today. I just can't remember what it was. Training. It was training. Nozomi. Huh? We were supposed to train today. I haven't scolded you for cutting training. Well, uh, no wells and no butts. Don't you understand the Demon King attacks tomorrow? Well, getting her to fall in love with me is critical according to Puma Sensei. Training is also important. We can't ignore training and do whatever we want every day. Maybe I'll just go back in time and train. Huh? That's actually a good idea. Your physical condition stays the same. So it's like you have no time limit on training except aging. You can even train for 10 years. Can you activate the match? Wait, knowing you, I don't know if you'd actually train. You could just go and read manga all day. Oh, don't worry, even if I will, I have unlimited time. 
I'll just go back, go a day back, and then jump to the present, and then travel a day back again, and so on. And don't worry, there'll always be a version of you that'll keep me in check. Well, that's reassuring. I can count on myself. But I'm still worried about sending Nozomi entirely on her own. She's very unpredictable. There's also the possibility that she's like. No, I decided to put my trust in Nozomi. That's the reason I showed her the time magic. So, can you activate the magic? That would be easier than taking candy from taking baby from a candy. All right, here we go. We. If you got the order to use the magic, I need you to go back to the present. So I'm coming along, obviously. I'll drop you in the present and then go to the past. Won't that mean I'll be stuck in the dusty cat? Let's go. The scroll started to glow brighter and brighter, and so darkness fell out and reality ceased to exist. Okay, we need to wrap this one up because we're out of time once again, but we have time magic now, that's pretty potent. I'm still not sure that she's not going to try and kill us and take it. Obviously the reason she didn't kill us and take it then was because we had to go back to the present before it would be active again. So we can't trust her not necessarily to kill us yet, but I guess we'll find out in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.